I love this from Jason Gopfert over at uh, Sentiment Trader. He does a comparison of the 2009 lows in the S&P to the uh, recent lows in the uh, Hang Seng Index. So a 50% crash from a real estate bubble is what we had in 2008 to 2009, the S&P crashed 57%, and then it rebounded 45% off the lows, and then you got this huge check back in mid-2009 before the continuation where it went up a lot more than that, and then a lot more than a lot more, and was the beginning of many multi-year bull market. We'll take a look what happened. We had this big 50% down on the Hang Seng because of real estate. Then we had this big 31% rally and we just had the check back just like we did in summer of 2009. So real estate crash, huge rally off the lows, check back before the monster parabolic move, 52% crash off of real estate, big rally in a short period of time, big check back, and then we're going to get the parabolic move, ladies and gentlemen. We've talked about this over and over and uh, we're excited, uh, more excited than ever. But again, it's never, nothing's ever changed. Like you think that the you know, thesis has to change week to week based on headlines. The big money is not in the buying and selling, but in the waiting, ladies and gentlemen. And it's definitely genetic. So, um, all right, moving along.